welcome back to my channel all right so continuing on this christmas theme christmas theme one of the things on your christmas table or on christmas tables all over the world is obviously a baked mac and cheese you can't have christmas dinner unless you have a baked mac and cheese and truthfully people have been begging me for this that's the oven in the back there people have been begging me when are you going to the mac and cheese video mac and cheese video mac and cheese video today you're getting the mac and cheese video all right quite as simple this recipe is mine by the way i have a secret ingredient that always works nice i like my mac and cheese creamy and raw yeah it's gonna be divine anyways so quickly through the ingredients we have some elbow pasta and i know lots of people use all different types of pasta but elbow elbow then we have a variety of cheese we have some aged cheddar we have um swiss cheese and provolone and we have a mixture of um these four mexican cheese over here which include i think cheddar and um monterey jack and yada 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 you can use whatever cheese you like as long as it's not one of them cheese uh, that's not cheese all right then we have whole milk then we have some olive oil we have some onion powder of course there's salt and pepper there and some flour to make a roux my secret ingredient for that nice creamy oh cheesy mac and cheese is alfredo sauce so what i do i make a cheese sauce so i'm going to put on the elbow pasta to boil so i'm going to pot with water and um, salt and oil there i'm going to boil the the pasta just al dente we don't want it to be boiled too much because we're going to put it into bake so we don't want uh, anyways so what i do i make a cheese sauce Boil the pasta, then make a cheese sauce and combine it with some of the shredded cheese, of course. So we have extra cheese in the mixture, so we make layers. Lay off mac, lay off cheese, sauce, mac, cheese, sauce. And then we mix it together, then we top it off with cheese and some breadcrumbs, and then we pop it in the oven to bake. It's going to be divine. We have my nice, new, shiny, shiny, Shiny Dutch oven stove here. I got that as a gift, by the way. I want to say big up to my friend. All right, so here we go. We're going to add some butter. All right, we're going to make the roux first. So we're just adding some butter. We should probably add some olive oil just so we don't burn this butter here. Yeah. All right, and we just want to melt the butter. Just melt the butter. We just want that butter melted. All right. Can't have mac and cheese without some nice butter. My lord, this is so good. Smells. I love the smell of butter. Yeah. yeah. And of course, so next week I'm going to be rolling out my new line of Dutch ovens. I think I've, I'm at five Dutch ovens now. And I'm trying to cook in all of them before I do a Dutch oven review. But it's going to be amazing. Alright, so our butter is already melted. So what we want to do here, we want to sift some flour. And of course, remember we are making a roux. Equal parts flour, equal parts butter. All right, and we just want to get that all combined, cook out that flour taste. Yeah, we don't want, wow, look at that. My counter, messing up my counter here. Yeah, we don't want the flour taste in our cheese sauce. So we just want to cook that, but we're not making a brown roux. We're just giving this enough time. That's all we want right there. Just enough time to cook out the flour taste before we pour on our milk. All right? Ooh. Nice, nice, nice. All right, so that's about it. We're gonna go in with some milk. Right in with some milk now. All right. Get some milk in. All of that. All of that, we're gonna get all the milk, right? Now I'm gonna just switch to a whisk. Yeah. So this is one of those low and slow recipes. We cannot, and you know, I'm switching to my rubber um, coated whisk because we don't want to damage the surface of my Dutch oven. Thanks, Ayana, for this. This by the way. All right, so let's get the flour out of the way because we messed it up there. All right. Oops, slowly. Look at that. Accidents upon accidents in the kitchen today. All right, there we go. Let's 
So there we have our milk. Then we're going to slowly add our cheeses there. Some Provo, some Swiss, right? Right, and then we want to add a little garlic butter to that baby. All right, and then we've gone back to our wooden spoon. Then we're going to add some onion powder. You get that out. Onion powder. Yes, this is the making of a bomb cheese sauce. All right, this is going to be lovely. Then we're going to add a handful of this four cheese Mexican blend. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. We just continue slowly stirring it. Stirring, stirring until the cheese melts and this sauce is going to thicken up and it's going to be dynamite. Yeah, there we go. All right, so the, you can just leave it. Just have the cheese melt it while we clean up our area here. All right, so I'm, I'm sure many of you, you've seen me post the mac and cheese all the time. So everybody, I know there are a few people who are happy today because they've been asking for this for a while. So here it's finally here. Secret ingredient, trust me. You don't have to do it, but don't beat it till you try it. That Alfredo sauce adds a totally different taste, texture, everything, the creaminess, oh lots, the extra added cheese. And look, we are just taking our time melting the cheese is away, melting down in a cheese, a nice cheese sauce. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Geronimo's Kitchen, we're doing baked mac and cheese. All of that. So this is on low heat, and I've, I've continued to stir it. There we go, it's thickening quite well. So then now we're just going to add some more cheese. Keep going down, right now, some more cheese to that. Yes, then we're going to add our Alfredo sauce. Ooh, look at that, right in my eyes. Ooh, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that. Oh Lord, look at that. We're just gonna allow this now to hox. Mm, mercy. Wow. My Lord, when you taste this, mac and cheese, yeah. Oh Lord. Get out every last bit. See that? Every last bit of this Alfredo sauce. Wow, it's sticking very nice. I love it. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to um Turn this off. If you can just show them how thick it is. See there? Turn this off. See the, all the parsley and so from our garlic butter. What the fuck? Let me taste it first. Oh, it's beautiful. Maybe just a little salt. It's a little salt in that baby. Two pinches. You don't want to salt it too much because I don't want that cheese is salty, but lox. I'm going to add a little pepper. Ah. Just a little bit of this scotch bonnet pepper. Give it my, my mac and cheese that little zing. Just mix it in. Mix it in, baby. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, Geronimo's cheese sauce. Oh my lord, look at that, look at my cheese sauce. We are gonna make a nice mac and cheese, baby. All right. <laughs> All right, so I'm shutting the fire off, the flame off. We're just gonna allow that to just sit because um, when the mac, the so this can literally probably cool down for now. If you're not ready for it, you can just cool it off. Boil your, your um, elbow pasta, cool that off if you want, and when you're ready, just combine. Top off with some more cheese, some breadcrumbs, pop it in the oven, all right? I'm going to boil my elbow pasta, and then just cool it off, cool off both of them, and then later, as soon as the guys come, well, uh, when they're almost on their way, 
then I'll just, you know, put them together and then pop them in the oven so that they get it all fresh and nice. So I'm just going to add our oil pasta here right on in. And we add that with some water. Water, salt, and oil because you want that oil to keep the pasta just, you know, loose. All right. That's about it. We're going to make that boil. And then when we're ready, we just can combine it. Oh Lord, we're going to put it in the oven. Go for that nice golden brown crust. It's going to look so nice. Oh gosh, it's going to taste even better. <laughs> yep, yep. Yo. So earlier, remember I made this bomb cheese sauce right here. It's ready. Ready. Our macaroni is over here and we're just put a little in. Our macaroni, see there? Elbow pasta. We're just going to get some over here to our little, make some little layer. Right, the mac and cheese. Then we'll get some cheese, right? We just want to sprinkle some cheese all over that baby. Oh, Jesus. See there? Some cheese. Then we're going to go some cheese sauce. No sauce that baby is, right? Saucy dude. Sauce. Yeah, sauce. 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 So, and don't be afraid, guys, to. Add that sauce, right? That cheese sauce, we made this shit from scratch. Don't be afraid to sauce your mac and cheese. You want your mac and cheese to be wet and gooey. All right. All right, so we're just doing layers already, right? You got that? All righty. Layers. Then we're gonna go in with some cheese. Copious amounts of cheese. That cheese baking here, that's why it's called mac and cheese. Not macaroni, you know, mac and cheese. Get a little here, we're just gonna get that little unctuous goodness on again. Load yep, yep. So she wrote, I'm just gonna repeat this until we reach time. Now we're gonna go, go, Jesus. Mercy. So here we go, guys. We're just gonna, you know, work the cheese and the sauce in. All right, work it in. Look at that, right in on the mac and cheese. Just work it in. You see how much cheese we have in it? How much sauce we have in it? Being afraid of the cheese and all the sauce. Bang, mac and cheese is on it. Girl, I'm always kitchen. All right, look here, we're just gonna spread the top over here with some cheese. What did I say? Some cheese, right? Hold it, all right? And the final touch, we're going to just add some breadcrumbs all over this way. Oh, when the moon hits your eye, like a boy, you're sitting there on your rope. And then we're just going to pop this baby here, looking all nice and lovely here. Look at it. Right in the oven over here. We're going to put this to three, 375. We're gonna put this baby in for just about 25 minutes. All right? Just, oh Lord. We got some chicken in here. All right. Slide that baby in. Close that a little bit. All right, it's about the mac and cheese right here in Geronimo's kitchen. It's on. The winner is Chef Geronimo. All right, guys, it's, it's, this, is all, this is the final dish. This is battle macaroni and cheese. Geronimo's kitchen is done. Come on, let's get it. This is coming out hot, baby. Woo, we don't want it burning. Lord Jesus. Christ Jesus. This is Geronimo's mac and cheese. Look, honey, Jesus. Yeah, it's coming out hot. Hot. All right, so there you have it. You've been asking for this for a while. It's back mac and cheese. From scratch, it's hot. Can't taste it yet. Well, guess what? Mac and cheese from Geronimo's kitchen to your table, to your homes, to your screens. Look at this, baby. Yeah. All right, so remember to subscribe to my channel, like this video, share it widely, all your friends. Mac and cheese, Geronimo's way. All right, peace out.